Claim preclusion, or res judicata, prevents parties from re-litigating certain claims that have already been resolved in a prior case. The court explained why claim preclusion is necessary and when it applies. In the 1931 case of Baldwin v. Iowa State Traveling Men's Association, Floyd Baldwin brought an action against insurance company Iowa State Traveling Men's Association in Missouri State Court. The company removed the action to a Missouri federal court and specially appeared, moving to set aside service of process and dismiss the action for lack of personal jurisdiction. The company argued that it was an Iowa corporation that was never present in Missouri and that the person served with process in Missouri wasn't the company's agent for service purposes. After holding a hearing and reviewing affidavits and briefs submitted by both parties, the court overruled the company's motion. The company didn't make any further appearance in the action, and the court eventually entered judgment in Baldwin's favor. The company never moved to set aside the judgment, and it didn't try to appeal. Baldwin then brought an action in an Iowa federal court to enforce the judgment against the company. The company asserted that the judgment couldn't be enforced because the Missouri court lacked personal jurisdiction. The company made the same arguments to the Iowa court that it made in the Missouri action. Baldwin objected, arguing that the company was improperly trying to relitigate the personal jurisdiction matter. The court overruled Baldwin's objection and dismissed the action. The Eighth Circuit affirmed the dismissal, and the United States Supreme Court granted Baldwin's petition for cert.